Okay. Good there. Okay. All right, sir. All right, sir. How do you foresee the impact of sequestration on family benefits? Well, we want to keep family benefits pretty much where they are as much as we can. Uh, that's a very high priority to me. As we go through sequestration, continuing resolution, as we draw down in the Middle East, especially in Afghanistan, folks come home. We'll have increased stress level. We'll have more issues. And family benefits, family support, very important because perhaps more now than ever, we need them. So it's a very high priority. I want our folks to be educated and have opportunities to thrive while in the Navy, uh, despite sequestration and despite budgetary challenges. All right, sir, I've been reading up on the new initiative, reducing administrative distractions. Why do you think this is good for our Navy? Well, I want to buy time back. I want our folks to keep what I like to call, you got to keep the main thing, the main thing. If you drive ships, I want you driving ships and thinking about that. Flying airplanes, you get the point, submerging submarines. Uh, and not thinking about admin that maybe is not necessary. Duplicative requirements need to go. We don't have that kind of time. So what I like about this program is it gets the fleet involved. It gets sailors involved, those that are doing the admin. And for sure, we get some of our best ideas by the innovation, you know, unlocking the innovation and the thoughtfulness and the insight of our sailors. And that's what I like about the RAD program. All right, sir. Now that we've done the Sapper stand down, what can we expect to see next? Well, what you can expect to see next is a little bit of a clarification of organization. And what I mean by that is we need to be sure people understand the importance of this sexual assault challenge. So I will have a special assistant, a flag officer, Admiral Buck, which is his name, reporting directly to me. His staff will be clarified and that will come out in a, in a Navy admin. Each of our Navy component commands, that would be uh, Compact Fleet, U.S. Fleet Forces Command, Navy Central Command, and all of our type commanders, so Sub-4, Sur-4, and Air-4, will each have a sexual assault prevention and response uh, expert, if you will, somebody who's certified to help assist them, and they will be assigned. We've had great, great success in the, um, in the Great Lakes region and in San Diego on some initiatives uh, on proper climate and a proper environment that would tend to discourage sexual assault and the occasions that can lead to it. We're going to extend those fleet-wide. So there'll be a Navy admin laying all that out. And then lastly, uh, there's an accountability piece here. Our leaders are accountable for the climate and the safety uh, for their sailors. Our sailors deserve a safe environment to work in. And I insist on it. And we have to get there. And so these kind of clarifications will be spelled out there. And then we've got to execute. We've got to decide we're not going to have this anymore. All of us. We're all responsible. And our leaders are accountable. And it starts with me.